Tonight, we are less than two days away from President Joe Biden touching down in Ohio for the ceremonial groundbreaking of Intel. The $20 billion investment, the largest in state history, is located near Johnstown in Licking County. Reporter Kevin Landers has been at the site all day trying to learn what this project will mean for the local economy. We're at the corner of Miller and Clover Valley Road, and we are fairly certain this is where the president will make his remarks. You can see behind me the large white tents and then the blue signs that say welcome to Intel. The president will use his time to tout the $52 billion CHIPS Act, which will allow Intel and others to expand across the country. I spoke to Ohio Senator Jay Hottinger, who represents this area, about what the development means for Ohio and the local economy. What have you heard about the potential about how big this investment could be here in Licking County? How many fabs have you heard they could potentially build? So I am expecting that they will have, as a result of the CHIPS Act passing, I think over the next 10 years that they will have a minimum of uh, five and uh, could have seven or eight uh, fabs. To say that this 926 acre project is massive is an understatement. This project is, is larger than Honda and it's larger than Wright-Patterson Air Base. Uh, and Kevin, it's even larger than both of those projects combined. Hottinger says each plant or fab Intel builds will require enough steel to build five Eiffel Towers. There are also some big problems with an investment this size. Senator Hottinger says he recognizes the lack of housing for thousands of people who plan to work here. I think in a decade, uh, there could be seven or 8,000 Intel employees there. So I think there's already an acute uh, housing shortage. Uh, and I think that's going to be exasperated. The senator has traveled to Intel's plants in Chandler, Arizona and Israel. He downplays fears some have about the negative impacts the company will have on this area. I don't think that it's going to uh, have a, a significant adverse effect uh, on the families uh, that, that live nearby. You know, when I was in Chandler, Arizona, people built million dollar houses across the street, you know, from uh, the facility. The legislature gave Intel more than a billion dollars in tax incentives to kickstart this project. President Biden's remarks will be closed to the public. This is a private event. Reporting near Johnstown, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.